If you like this video, please go ahead and consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you have not already, and please, by all means, share this video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today, we're going to take a look at mod test map. But before that, this video is brought to you by Soul Farmer and Fan Farmer. Thank you for being farm barons. So the mod test map can be found over at the farmingsimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for PC players only. Now, I do hope that this map does get tested and eventually released to console players because every player of Farm Sim 22 deserves to have access to this map so they can test vehicles, implements, and buildings. Let me read you some of the description. Hello, this is a test map for Farming Simulator. On this map, you can test and try out your vehicles, machines, attachments, and buildings. On this map, you have a dealer for buying vehicles and reconfiguring them, a sales point for liquid fertilizer, herbicide, as well as water, and a multi-purchase station. There are 10 production stations to test your goods for further production and eight selling stations, one of which also accepts liquids to empty your tankers. All animal species, species have stables, there you can try out your devices and machines for your animals. There are 13 fields ready to harvest that you can harvest straight away. Two meadows, one already harvested with grass and hay swaths, one corn field ready for chopping, one field for spraying, and three fields for tillage, and a field with grapes and olives. Anyone who has the premium DLC can harvest fields, carrots, and beetroot. Right away, without the DLC, the fields are just deco. There is a forest area with different types of trees that you can test clearing. There's a BGA with three silo bunkers. In addition to the dealer, you also have an open area to test placing buildings. You can get water from the river. And there is a small parkour that offers an area for jumping and cruising, a course for test drives in the mountain, and performance driving as well. There's also a small walled area where you can basically try to drive your vehicles up the wall, see how things work with respect to the suspension and other things. Let's go ahead and load on in to the map. In addition to the map, we are gonna be using the mods. We typically use when we look at maps, there are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. I will tell you if you load this map up in farm management or start from scratch, you will find everything is built out exactly how you see it here in new farmer mode. In addition, if you run the system on basically any system, it is going to run very, very well because, well, it's pretty much a blank map with the exception of a few buildings placed down and some animal areas. When we load in for the very first time, we do start out here at the vehicle shop. We have our vehicle trigger. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up just a random tractor here because we're gonna use it later on. We also have our maintenance dealer trigger located right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. There you go. So this is based on the Holt Belaroon base map. And you're gonna see more indications to that as we load in and look around the map a little bit further, we do obviously have all the standard crops available to us in Farm Sim 22, in addition to the premium expansion of red beets, carrots, and parsnips. This map has a single farmland that we own at the start in new farmer mode. I would suggest you start in this play mode because, well, why not? But if you do start in any alternate game mode, as you can see, you can pick this up for a total of $0. There are only one farmland, so we don't really need to look at that. And we also don't need to look at our field calculator screen because technically there are no predefined fields. All of these fields are simply placed here on the map. Therefore, there's going to be no contracts when we get around to that section. With respect to our precision farming soil map, since this is basically using the Holt Belarune base map, we do have then the French soil map on this map, and that actually ends up being the standard soil map that we see used across so many other maps. Let's go ahead and see how that is being applied to these fields. Some days you just get ahead of yourself, don't you? Well, of course, we're not going to see how it's being applied because technically this map doesn't have any fields. So in order to see the soil map, we have to have predefined fields, aka 
numbered fields. And since we do not have that on this map, exposing the soil map isn't going to show us much of anything. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. This map is making use of the Holt by the Rune French soil map, also known as the standard soil map. Taking a look down through our crop counter, we do have our standard FS22 crop counter, as one should probably expect with respect to a test map. And what we would also test on a test map is basically the ability to sell everything. So we do have the ability to sell all of our basin crops, animal outputs of eggs, wool, and milk, and our silage, hay straw, and grass. We also have the ability to sell all of our basic game production items. In addition to that, we do have the ability to sell lime, and we also have the ability of selling our stones. With respect to our farm production pack, we do have the ability to sell those at the selling station for everything. And we also have the ability to sell all of the platinum expansion production items. And what you're going to see is we do have the ability to sell also our premium expansion production items as well as crops. We also have the ability to sell our separated manure and our hay and straw pellets. With respect to our starting fleet, we do not start with any vehicles in any game mode. You're going to want to test anything. You're going to have to bring in your own vehicles and buy them in. With respect to animals, we start out owning one of each animal type. We have 80 cows, 360 chickens, 270 pigs, 65 sheep, and 14 horses. There are no contracts because, once again, we do not have any predefined fields. We also start out by owning all 12 productions. That is going to be the BGA, a bakery, a carpentry, cereal factory, the dairy, grain mill, oil mill, grape processor, spinnery, sugar mill, tailor, and a large greenhouse. And then lastly, there are no collectibles on this map. Now, with respect to where do your vehicles spawn? Well, they spawn out here at the front of the shop. You can see our tractor is located right over here. We'll get that thing started up. And I want to come here around the back of our shop initially because this is where we are going to find our buying and our buying stations as well as a little, uh, little off-road course. So in this first silo we're going to be able to buy all of our crop. Basically any crop we're going to be able to buy from here. We're going to be able to buy water. We're going to be able to buy seed, lime, and solid fertilizer. And we're going to be able to buy our liquids in herbicide and liquid fertilizer. A little bit of a figure eight and a monster truck course here, if you will. So we test our vehicles, see how well they are with their off routing. going to be our animal dealer if we are in a place and test selling, transporting, or buying of animals. A bit of a slalom course here. We come over here to our biogas plant. We have three pull through silage bunkers. We have our EGA with our digester, our dump station for our liquid fertilizer, and our fill point for our digestate. We can sell the VGA, we can sell the three silage bunkers as well, just as a frame of reference. Over here we have kind of a skid pad. See how well our steering radius is going to be. If you do that too much, you all might get a little sick. You know, can't, can't have anybody getting car sick.
right by the slalom course we have a bit of a a suspension test test our vehicle's ability to climb hills are we test our vehicle's brakes Weevil wobble test. So we can really see how our suspension is going to work. And then we have multiple kind of speed bumps to see how well again your suspension is going to operate at different speeds. This is why I really wish we would see this come to all platforms because I think I think everyone deserves to be able to clearly put your vehicles through the test before you go and add them to your various safe games. Bakery. I'm going to call this Production Row. So we have our spinnery. All these are base game structures. We know where all these triggers are going to be. We have our cereal mill, our carpentry, our dairy, our tailor, flour mill, stone crusher. And now we move into various cell points. Mama's Diner, Restaurant, Oil Mill. Pizzeria, great processor. We have our grocery. We now have our greenhouse. And then over here we have a general dump station. This is going to be the literally catch all of sell everything. We have a various assortment of trees placed here for cutting down and testing machinery. And then we have our animal row. So we have our cow pin. We have our pigs. We have our sheep. We have our chickens, horses, and we don't want to forget about our, our bees. So we also have our bees over here. We have a farmer's market cell point. And then we have a silo for storing and filling of trailers. Now that we've kind of had a little bit of an overview of the area itself. Take to the sky so we can see a little bit what's going on here. Now we're not going to have access way, way up here. We do have a map boundary that we will need to basically be cautious of. But you see the various grasses, the crops that are pre-placed here. You can get in here and start doing various field work, testing machinery, seeing how well it works, how well it doesn't work. We've got all of this area out here for just free placement of things. Our root crops are going to be on the other side of these trees, as well as our grapes and olives. Now, with respect to our scoring, this is obviously not your typical type of map, but we're going to go through the scoring process nonetheless, because, well, I am kind of a a stickler for the process. We're getting the map a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such because we have 12 productions pre-placed on this map. 
with respect to build mode, everything is base game. There are no custom buildings, fill types, paintable textures, or plants. We can come down here and fill from the river with respect to a water tanker. Got a nice road here we can take and come up the mountain pass. This is, of course, the Holt by the Rune. This is where we had our castle placed for that map. And the spinnery is up here on the top of the mountain. This is not an active spinnery for the test map. It is simply a destination with respect to testing, driving, ink lines, and such. With respect to the ability to sell all of our basic crops, animal outputs, and productions. We are going to give the map a full point there as well because with the sell everything, we can pretty much literally sell anything and everything that is available to us in Farm Sim and any of the DLCs. With respect to the farm being customizable, let's talk about more about the map being customizable. We can sell everything at the BGA other than the way station. We can sell our silo. We can sell all of the animal areas once they are empty. We can sell all of the sell points and production points with the exception of the sell everything that is pre-placed and permanently a part of the map. So we're going to give the map a full point. Sure, why not? With respect to buildings where appropriately are using the new texturing technique. Yep, they are. They are indeed because they're all FS22 structures. And I think you kind of have no gist of where we're going with this. With respect to the final scoring metric, trigger and interactive areas being clearly marked. They are indeed clearly marked. One thing we haven't really talked about is that we have our fueling station located right here. We also have an electric charging station located right there if you're going to be charging any electric vehicles. So that's going to give this map a full score of 5 out of 5. Not really a surprise because... One would suspect a proper FS-22 test map would, of course, be able to perform excellent with respect to all of the FS-22 features. And that is exactly how we score these maps, is we take a look and consider how well does any one map play towards the FS-22 features. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this map? Are you going to add it to your general arsenal of mod maps with respect to testing vehicles, implements, and placeables going forward? What do you think as far as a console player? Would you use this map? I think console players are a little limited with their save slots as opposed to the PC brethren because we do have the access to 20 save slots. But would you use up a save slot for a test map like this? if you had access to it. And until next time, happy farming.